What should primary care professionals be looking out for to help diagnose non-smoking lung cancer? I think it's exactly the same. It, it, the same rings true for all lung cancer in that if, if a patient has persistent chest symptoms longer than three weeks of cough, breathlessness, uh, chest pain, that warrants investigation. And the first step is a chest x-ray. Um, but we cannot be reassured by a normal chest x-ray. And it, of course, it's a really fine balance between overdiagnosis and early diagnosis for that huge volume of patients GPs will see with respiratory symptoms. But that gut instinct of something is not right. Um, I've tried treating this and it doesn't seem to be working. There's something not right with these symptoms. Um, I think the, the main message is to not let the smoking status influence the decision about, am I going to investigate this further? If those symptoms are causing concern, then they should be referred on a cancer pathway, regardless of a chest x-ray finding.